Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today is actually going to be the first of a series of videos where I'm going to be focusing on techniques to deal with artist block and and what that means for different people and how different techniques can help you get through that. Uh, but today I'm going to be focusing specifically on trying out a new medium and I'm gonna talk about that and the benefits and how it gets you out of your own head. But I do wanna give a really quick thank you to Squarespace because they are sponsoring this video and I do greatly appreciate them and the product they put out there. I, I have been building my site slowly but surely with them and I love the, the tools that they have to be able to create a really personalized website. So this is a great place if you want to set up an online shop or a portfolio with all of your artwork on it. And I do actually have a coupon code for you guys. So if you'd like to get 10% off your first order with them, I do have the code squarespace.com slash Danica. I'll have a link in the description as well that'll take you over there where you can try it out and see how you like it. Uh, but let's go ahead and dive into the topic at hand and a little bit about this piece. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about artist block. So I think that it's it's something that everyone has a different opinion on how to combat it because each artist has a different experience with it. With each person, with each artist, we have different experiences that affect how we create, what we need to be creating, how it affects what we're feeling when we're working on it. And our own personal lives can deeply affect our own creative processes. So each artist has different responsibilities and requirements for their own art. So what looks like artist block for one person may look entirely different for someone else. So I think that there are just many different ways to work through this and many different obstacles that different people go through. But I have been feeling, I've been feeling it definitely over the last, last while actually, where I just feel uninspired. And because I have a schedule, I'm still creating artwork, but I'm, I'm feeling a lot more exhausted before I even start working on it. So that's why I wanted to start this series where I want to focus on several different techniques to to get through that, to get myself excited about creating again and excited about thinking about new things that I can be doing. So today I'm focusing on working in a completely different medium. So the traditional medium that I normally use is watercolors. And by no means am I sick of using watercolors. I love them. They solve many of the problems and the way that I like to think about my images, watercolor has this perfect solution for a lot of them. And I'm sure for all of you, you have your favorite medium, that thing that you love to use. But, but I would recommend that if you're going through artist block to still try to do it, even if you feel 100% committed to your medium or if you're feeling bored and tired of it, this is a solution that no matter what you feel about that medium that you normally go to, I think it solves many issues. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit. But but again, mine, my example is that I love using watercolors and they come with certain certain benefits and certain negative drawbacks. The biggest negatives I think is that I can't be adaptable with adding and subtracting from the painting. That's pretty rigidly set from the very beginning what will be happening in the painting. I can't cover things up. I also can't add highlights. I can't be as adaptive with the way that I do the line art because I do love line art. I still want to create images that have line art, but, but those are things that that are drawbacks when it comes to watercolor. I also realized that I create images with a certain formula in mind and I didn't realize it until I started working on this piece, but even the subject matter and these things that I gave myself these requirements for, they were built into working in watercolor, even though they weren't really necessary. And it took me this, this chance to try a different medium to realize that that things like creating a really graphic background where it's just very painterly and it's about color, something like that, I would never have done in watercolor. I would have felt really stressed out about that option. I would have been really trying to find something that needs to be happening in the background, whether that ended up being a better image or not. I, I find that I give myself a lot more restrictions on things that ultimately don't actually make a better image. So it was interesting immediately for me to see that working in this different medium, it reset my brain, it reset my thought process for the subject itself of what I was going to create, which I did not expect. I didn't expect to see that kind of a, a change in it. I thought that I would see different different benefits and different challenges as far as the execution, but from the very beginning, I felt like it was a little bit of a reboot. Now, it is pretty similar to the work that I normally do, which 
which I want it to still feel like mine, but working on this really, really colorful, bright, but expressive background was such a breath of fresh air for my process. So, so I think that's one of the number one, the first point is that it really pushes you to think about the types of images you're creating and why you're putting them in there and why you're creating that. Because there are other options, especially in other mediums that can be more more suitable for different solutions to an image that maybe the technique that you normally use or the medium that you normally use isn't as well suited for that. So for this, it pushed me out of that little comfort zone that I'm in and these little rigid boxes that I gave myself and I could try something completely new. And I noticed when I was working on this, it was really getting me inspired to go and learn more about how to handle acrylics because there were certain techniques and looks that I wanted to achieve, but I was struggling with it because I don't know how to use acrylics very well. I don't have that experience and the skill for that, which was exciting because with watercolor, I am absolutely not a master at it, but I... I kind of reached a point where the things that I want to create, I I have that experience to be able to do it. I would absolutely love to focus on getting a lot more advanced techniques down and study those. But when it comes to actually creating images, a lot of times I will create what I'm capable of creating and I'm happy with that or I'm satisfied with that or I autopilot it, I guess I should say. I'm not, I'm not pushing myself as much because I don't need to push myself as much, but by shifting into a new type of paint like this, it immediately, if I want to create a look, a certain look, I'm going to have to go study. And it's exciting to have something very clear cut for me to focus on. I find that a lot of times when I'm feeling really artist blocked, where I'm, I'm struggling to feel inspired at all. It's because I'm, I'm bored. I'm frustrated with what I'm doing. I'm feeling uninspired. But by this, by having this very clear path ahead of me of, okay, this is what I want to be able to do. How can I figure out how to do that? How can I figure out how to have this really clean layer of color in acrylic that doesn't have any brushes, brush strokes in it, that is, or, or different techniques that I want to create with this. It gives me a starting point for something to really put in all of my energy and all of my focus in. And it's exciting to learn new things and to figure out what things I'm missing in my experiences and what things I can get better at. So I find that shifting over to something that I'm much newer at gives me a chance to really dive into figuring that out in a way that with my typical mediums, I, I'm not pushing myself as much, not because I shouldn't be or because I don't want to, it's just easy to fall into that rhythm of it. So it, it pushes me beyond my, my comfort zone. And I also found that working with a different medium allows me to think about different solutions for problems that I normally face in my paintings, different ways around it. It allows me to be a lot more creative with these solutions and with the ultimate outcome of that, which is very exciting. That's, that is, I think a big key thing that I feel like I'm missing when I feel like this, when I feel really uninspired is that I don't feel this challenge or the excitement of being able to solve a problem and have something that works and fits together like this puzzle piece. And I don't think that that's prevalent in this piece at all, but I do think that it was getting me thinking about these things, about ways that I can utilize color that I don't normally have the opportunity in watercolors or effects that I can create to get these looks that I've always wanted, but I've always come a little bit short in creating that with my normal medium. It also gives me a chance to focus on different elements of painting. So it's just, it gives you a chance to really think through completely different solutions to problems, to creating an image, to to making these things happen. And it's really reinvigorating for me to be able to look at this as an opportunity to move in a new direction of really developing skills that I did not have and I've always avoided to a certain degree. And I want to give one final thank you to Squarespace again. They are an amazing place to go and create a really beautiful and unique portfolio or website for your next project. And again, I have the code and the link down in the description that can take you over to 10% off your first order. But I would love to hear from you guys. What mediums do you normally use and what would you like to try out? And what other techniques do you use to combat your artist block? I would love to hear from you guys. 
And that is it for today. Don't forget to tell me about your experience with Artist Block and also if there's any topics you'd like me to cover in the next couple of videos or I focus on that. I would love to hear what you guys are interested in, especially for things that have worked for you in the past. And yeah, that's it for today. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you then.